Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Assalamu alaikum. This is DHA Senior School Lesson for General Science Class 9th Week Number 6. Dates are 11th May 2020 to 15th May 2020. This week we are going to start our new chapter and the name of the chapter is Energy. Recapitulation of the previous week. In previous week, we the first topic we read was spreading of germs. We came to know that germs are spread through a lot of means and the most common means are through air, through water or through personal contact. We read about protection from germs and diseases. One of the most common ways to protect oneself from germs and diseases is sterilization, then vaccination and then taking care of cleanliness of the surroundings. Then we read about smoking. We came to know that smoking is a very bad habit. It not only causes breathing difficulties, but it also leads to lung cancer and mouth cancer. We read about mental illnesses. There are two main types of mental illnesses, psychosis and neurosis. Drugs and drug abuse. In drugs, we read about heroin, hashish, etc. We read about the harmful effects and we came to know that these drugs contain a large amount of nicotine because of which we get used of these drugs and these drugs cause uh, harmful or abnormal effects on our body. The subtopics to be covered in this week are the introduction of energy, the main types of energy, interconversion of energy, and energy demand. The objectives for this week are define energy and its kinds, explain the need of energy, identify several forms of energy, differentiate between nuclear fission and nuclear fusion, describe the inner Conversion of energy from one form to another, understanding the increasing demands of energy. What is energy? Energy in a body is basically its ability to perform some activity. Without energy, there would be no motion or no change in state. A car or a motorcycle needs energy to move. You all know. The energy comes from fuel. From where does the energy for human beings come from? The energy for human beings come from the food which they eat. And from where the plants get energy? Plants get energy from sunlight. We need food which provides us energy to carry out various activities such as to play, to run, to speak, to read and to see. Even if we are sleeping, various parts of our body need energy to keep on doing their work. Plants also take food to meet their energy requirements. So the energy is an important and fundamental concept in science. When we say that a body has energy, we mean that it has ability to do work. Water running downstream has ability to do work, so it possesses energy. The energy of running water can be used to run water mills or water turbines. You all know in the case of dams. Running water gets its ability due to its height, where it is stored. So the energy which is gotten from height when it is stored, that type of energy is called potential energy. And whenever the water moves, the potential energy changes into kinetic energy. So at the end of this lesson, we are going to discuss in detail that how one forms of energy change into other form. Let us first discuss the main forms of energy. Light energy, kinetic energy or potential energy, heat energy, electrical energy, nuclear energy, chemical energy, and sound energy. These are the main forms of energy which we are going to discuss in this chapter. Mechanical energy. The energy possessed by a body due to its motion or position is called mechanical energy. For example, water running downstream, wind, moving car, lifting hammer, stretched bow, or a compressed spring, all possesses mechanical energy. Basically, mechanical energy, as you can see in this diagram, is divided into two types. The first type is potential energy, and the second type is kinetic energy. If you have a look uh, on this diagram, you can see that, firstly, a man is stretching a bow. It means by stretching, a type of energy is being conserved in that bow and this type of energy is called potential energy. When he releases the arrow, 
the potential energy which is stored is now converted into kinetic energy the more potential energy which is stored the more kinetic energy will be produced the less potential energy which will be stored the less kinetic energy will be produced so basically kinetic energy is the energy that a body possesses due to its motion the faster body the more kinetic energy it has examples are running water wind and falling stone all have kinetic energy because they are capable to do work due to their motion in the diagram given on this slide can you see what are the examples of kinetic energy the girl is having uh, the girl is sitting on a swing so the swing is moving so the energy is kinetic energy and the moving ham hammer in the second diagram as the hammer is moving so it is having kinetic energy so let us discuss potential energy the energy that a body possesses due to its position examples are stored water before it runs down possesses potential energy a hammer raised to some height is because of potential energy a stretched bow has potential energy due to its position when released store energy of the bow pushes out the arrow in it the second form of energy which we are going to discuss is called heat energy i hope so you are well familiar with this type of energy it is very easy and familiar form of energy you can observe you can see heat energy in your kitchens in stove while in winter you use heaters as well as during making barbecue you use coal so all of these are the forms of heat energy so heat is a form of energy given out by hot bodies in the form of radiation have a look on the diagram which is given on right side can you see which of these two are giving out heat energy of course the sun is giving out heat energy and that heat energy is later used in different processes on our earth large amount of heat is obtained by burning of fuel heat is also produced when motion is opposed by frictional forces for example if you are traveling on a motorbike or a cycle or a car you have observed that whenever you apply brakes uh, your uh, tires become hot or whenever uh, suppose if you are not applying brake but you are uh, traveling at high speed on road then uh, as the road is causing friction between the tires and uh, the surface of the road so the surface of the tires will become hot so heat is also produced when motion is opposed by frictional forces whenever there is movement there is friction and is it is an opposing force the food we take provides us also with heat energy the sun is the main source of energy and that energy is used by all the life on our earth i hope so it is quite an easy form of energy one more easy form of energy is sound energy you all can observe the sound energies which are present around you you can hear the sounds which are produced by ringing bell by the students and the teachers and the other persons who are around you by the birds and um, you can uh, also hear the sound energies which are produced by television by mobile phone by your alarms by by different electrical instruments for example if you are running a washing machine or if you are heating some toast in the toaster as well as you can also hear sound energy uh, which is produced by your television so sound is produced when a body vibrates you can put your fingers on your neck and you can observe the vibration of your vocal cords yourself vibrating diaphragm of a drum vibrating string of a sitar or guitars and vibrating air column of wind instruments such as flute pipe etc the next form of the energy is called electrical energy in your practical life you have seen many instruments which are working on electrical energy it means electricity is a form of energy because it enables us or it enables the instrument to work to carry out some function for example your washing machines are working on electrical energy your fans are working on electrical energy your uh, air conditioners are also working and your dishwashers are also working on electrical energy so electrical energy is a form of energy resulting from the flow of electric charge 
Electricity is one of the widely used pollution free form of energy. You all know the instruments in your homes which are working on electrical energy. Are they producing some sort of pollution? No, they aren't producing any form of visible pollution. So electrical energy can be sent through wires easily to any desired place. I hope so all of you have seen the wires which are present in your homes or which are present outside uh, your home. We get electrical energy from batteries and also from electrical generators. Electrical generators are electric electricity producing devices. So most of the electrical generators are run by thermal, it means heat or hydropower. Hydropower means the power which is produced by water. Light energy. Light is an important form of energy. Plants produce food in the presence of sunlight. You all have observed that plants cannot produce food if there isn't any sunlight. We also need light to see things. We get light from candles, electrical bulbs, fluorescent tubes and also by burning fuel. However, most of the light comes from the sun. On this slide, a diagram is given and in this figure, certain things are present which produce light energy. The next form of energy is chemical energy. Chemical energy is basically a form of stored energy or potential energy and it is present in food, fuel and in other substances. The energy is released from these substances during chemical reaction. The burning of wood, coal or natural gas is a chemical reaction which releases energy as heat and light. So basically your food which you eat or the fuel which you use in your cars they basically contains a form of stored energy which is used when required and this form of stored energy is called chemical energy. Examples of chemical energy are it is contained in coal, natural gas, wood, photosynthesis process, propane, it is a form of fuel, biomass is the mass which is present by biological organisms, it is present in food, petroleum, cellular respiration and chemical batteries. Nuclear energy is the energy in the nucleus. Nucleus is present inside the atom. So nuclear energy is the energy which is present in the nucleus of an atom. An atom is very much smaller in size. So you can imagine that uh, what size uh, will be contained by the nucleus of an atom. It is very smaller in size but it contains huge amount of energy. Atoms are tiny particles that make up every object in the universe. There is enormous energy in the bonds that hold atoms together. So nuclear energy is released in the form of nuclear radiations as in the case of atomic bombs in addition to heat, light and sound energy during the nuclear reaction such as fission and fusion reactions. So basically nuclear energy is the energy which is contained in the nucleus of an atom. It is basically divided into two portions, fission and fusion. In fission, energy is released when atoms are combined or fused together. This is how the sun produces energy. While in fission, atoms are split apart to form smaller atoms, releasing energy. Nuclear power plants use nuclear fission to produce electricity. As you can see in this diagram, nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. In nuclear fusion, small atoms, you can see one atom is purple in color, the second small atom is red in color. Both of them are joining up to make a large atom, plus they are releasing a large amount of energy. In nuclear fission, a large atom is broken into smaller atoms, and these smaller atoms, you can see their color are purple and red, plus amount of heat energy, light energy or sound energy is also really Do you know that energy can be converted from one form to another? Previously we have discussed many forms of energy. Isn't it interesting to note down that we can convert according to our use one form of energy into another form? For example, which energy is stored in batteries? Chemical energy is stored in batteries. Whenever we use that battery to run a car, 
the chemical energy of the battery will be converted into kinetic energy of the car so basically we cannot create or destroy energy but we can change it from one form to another form for example when a bowling ball is dropped its potential energy potential energy is stored inside it because of its height its potential energy changes into kinetic energy because the ball is moving another example is rubbing your hands whenever we rub the hands we will feel them warm you have used your muscular energy in rubbing as a result heat is produced by rubbing hands which makes the hands warm in this process kinetic energy of hands was converted into heat energy energy changes in water cycle you all know what is water cycle water cycle is basically the cycle in which water changes its shape its form basically it changes its form from one uh, state to another so the processes in nature are a result of energy changes for example some of the heat energy from the sun is absorbed by water in the ocean this increases the thermal energy thermal energy causes water to evaporate the cause whenever there is evaporation process it needs some heat energy so the thermal energy causes water to evaporate from the surface to form water vapor these vapors rises up and form clouds as they cool down they form water drops so these water drops fall down as a rain so potential energy which is stored in the water which was present in the cloud it is now converted into kinetic energy as the rain falls if the rain water flows down its kinetic energy changes into thermal energy while parts of the kinetic energy of flowing water is used to wash away soil particles of the rocks that changes landscape it's the diagrammatic representation of the water cycle you can see that water is present in oceans lakes and rivers in liquid form it is evaporated i told you earlier that evaporation requires absorption of heat energy so the water gains heat energy is evaporated and then it condenses in the form of clouds solar energy is also involved then this condensed cloud is precipitated and then it falls in the form of rain and the rain contains which form of energy now it contains kinetic energy how hydropower works hydropower plants capture the energy of falling water to generate electricity it is the same principle that is being used in dams because they also uh works on hydropower a turbine converts the kinetic energy of falling water into mechanical energy i hope so you have seen turbines they are large structures which are circular in form uh, you can also see the turbines in our next slide then a generator converts the mechanical energy from the turbine into electrical energy and it is then stored and the stored energy is then carried to various industries or houses uh, by the help of wires energy of flowing water can be used to run water mills or turbines turbines move generators which produce electrical energy so the main parts of hydroelectric plants are dams and turbines dams basically store water rain water stored in dams has potential energy because it is not moving it is standing still so it is having potential energy recall the water cycle and just recall how does the water gains potential energy the second part is turbines water stored in dams is allowed to pass through tunnels to turn the turbines generators these turbines then turn electrical generators to produce electricity then the transmission lines or the wires conduct electricity from hydro power plant to homes and businesses the electrical energy can be converted either into light energy either to heat energy or to the mechanical energy now let us dis discuss this diagram you can see starting from the left side that water is stored in dam then the water is passed through huge turbine then it is passed through a generator where it is stored 
Now you can see a transformer. Transformer is actually a bigger unit in which the electricity is stored. Then you can see the distribution units in the form of cables. And then you can see your home. The electricity reaches into your home through transmission lines and it is then used in your homes for various purposes. Almost all the electrical appliances in your home runs on electrical energy. Energy demands. Basically, energy is used for performing all the functions, so it means that uh, our life uh, is totally dependent on different forms of energy. So, energy demand is the term used to describe the consumption of energy by human activities. It drives the whole energy system, influencing the total amount of energy used, the location of and the types of fuel used in energy supply system, and the characteristics of end-use technologies that consume energy. Nature has blessed us with plenty of energy sources such as wind, flowing water, coal, firewood, petroleum, natural gas and the sun. For thousands of years, heat was the only form of energy used by the man. After invention of the steam engine, the use of mechanical energy increased gradually in transport and in industry. Nowadays, human beings are dependent a lot on the energy from fuels such as natural gas and petrol as well as the electrical energy. The discovery of petroleum is accompanied by the invention of internal combustion engines driven by the petroleum products. These engines are used for transportation and generation of electricity. So, uh, now we are going to discuss need of unlimited supply of energy. In our homes, we need energy to run appliances such as lamps, fan, glass electrical ovens, heaters, air conditioners, refrigerators, telephone, radio, television, etc. In schools and in offices, we use electrical energy that runs many electrical appliances such as tube lights, telephones and computers. In hospitals, we also need electrical energy to operate medical equipment. We need energy to run our factories. We also need energy in agriculture for tube wells, tractors, etc. Basically, we need energy in every field of life, in trade, in transportation, telecommunication, research, and even for entertainment. The use of energy is increasing day by day due to increase in population and also due to increase in energy need of every individual. The energy is needed at national level to meet the requirements of industry and agricultural needs. That's all for this week's lesson. Let us recap what we read in this week. We basically read about energy. Energy is the ability for doing work. Almost everybody needs energy for performing any sort of activity. We read about main forms of energy. Total 7 forms of energies are given in your book. That is heat energy, mechanical energy which has two main parts, kinetic and potential, then electrical energy, light energy, then nuclear energy, it is also having two main parts, nuclear fission and fusion, then chemical energy which is stored in foods and fuels, and sound energy. We read about these energies in detail as well as their examples. Then we read about interconversion of energy. We came to know that energy can be converted from one form to another. For example, have a look on th in this figure. On the extreme right side, you can see the chemical energy of the food is converted into energy to work, energy to run. Then on the right side, you can see that the chemical energy is converted into electrical energy and then is converted into kinetic energy. Then the chemical energy of the batteries is converted into electrical energy and then into light energy as well as sound energy as well as mechanical energy. So in short, in our life we can see many examples in which one form of energy is being converted into many many other forms of energy. Plus, I also want to state that human beings have invented certain instruments which can convert according to their need one form of energy into other form of energy depending on the purpose. So, I hope so. Uh, this week's lesson is quite clear to you. In case of any problem, you can contact your teacher. You can take the number of your teacher from your class teacher and you can ask any question which arises in your mind.
please do remember to attempt all the assessments which are given to you weekly uh, these are short assessments they don't require much time but these assessments are very important with respect to your examinations point of view so that's all for this week's lesson take care of yourself stay safe allah hafiz